Hello, welcome back to the Expert 11 Rose of Glory series, where in this episode we play our first league game of the season, and that's a big one, against potential title contenders Roma Eterna, who have just been relegated from Division 5, but are usually very strong in Division 6. They finished second when they were in our Division 6 the last time, four seasons ago. A lot has changed with the two teams since then though, so let's take a look at how Roma Eterna's squad has changed from then to now, and for the, for the same for our squads to now. This is what Roma Eterna's squad looked like the last time we faced them. A very powerful and strong scorer, a very good goalkeeper. And now, they're still pretty strong in most areas, but they're definitely a lot weaker in midfield than they used to be, and a lot weaker in goal than they used to be, with maybe 9 and 8 bar keepers. Knights have never beaten Roma Eterna, but that might be due to the fact that our squad was very, very weak in the only season we ever played Roma Eterna. As you can see now, it is much stronger than it was before. One player in particular had a very good record against us when he was playing against us for Roma Eterna, and that was Elston Corrin. Here you can see his strike partner Ricardo Vendrama, who is now gone from the club, scoring, but it was Elston Corrin in particular who was much torment to us. Here you can see him do a bicycle kick on goal against Kanji Aratani, remember him? Elston Corrin has, is still at the club, but he's got a few strike partners, and is likely going to line up in a 4 3 three, 3 formation, which is going to make him a bit more dangerous. Few young strikers like Flavio Ferres and Farini Paudin are now very dangerous partners. As well as this, we also have Alex Jungskog who was signed the season after we faced Roma Returner, and he is also a pretty dangerous striker. It is rotten luck for us to draw a potential promotion contender in the first league game of the season, but we will have to live with it. As you can see, Elson Corrin scoring another goal in this image, and uh, this is from the last time we played them, which was 11 months ago. Now, let's take a look at the team news and see how the two teams will line up in today's match. Knights line up for what could be a crucial game in a 4-5-1 formation with Ant Connolly the first choice keeper for this match instead of Gio de Hoare. Back for Pim van der Kreis, Ned the King, Aquila Santa Maria and Pedro Miramontes. Midfielder Ray Tatao Etta making his first start instead of Pierre Festing like Pierre Festing had in the last few games. Sergei Kivyakovsky, Alvito Roma, Spacio Queimado, and Raymond Hargreaves, a front low man of Celso Mota. Roma Eterna meanwhile now went up in a 4-3-3 formation with Robert Budenauer on goal. A back four of Ronaldo Sainfregos, Rafael Costinho making his debut, Gert Ake Nicholson, and Clearum Kulaj. Midfield three of Cristiano Campagna, Tommy Trapp, and Renzo Dianigi. And a front three of Alex Youngskog, Alson Corrin, and Flavio Freres. So, let's go live to the supermassive black hole for the first match of the season. Captains for this match are Pim van der Kreese for Knights of Sardinia, and for Roma Eterna we have Robert Budino as the captain. Referee is already skill 7, harshness 7. Knights in the red strip where Roma Eterna are in their bare strip, a change strip, due to the colour clash with Knights of Sardinia. Considering the game because it uses their main colour as red, although their main strip is mostly white if you ask me. Teams are shaking hands with each other as the captains Van de Kreese and Budnau come to the centre. Van de Kreese captaining Knights of Sardinia at just 22 years of age. Which is a brave role to undertake on, but our senior defenders need to settle them first before we can consider making them the captains. And the new Autumn League season gets underway now! And we have already got a goal in the Colonel Getafe Old Love Craftings game as Old Love Craftings have scored as Alex Youngskog has been yellow card for attacking behind the fifth minute of this game. Knights on top so far with a good amount of possession and Roma Eterna are really getting stuck in here. Clearing Kula has been yellow card for stamping. We have never beaten Roma Eterna before but this is a very positive sign to start with and we have the first chance to begin the 13th minute on the breakaway. It's Celso Mota tries to ball with the ball to Bryce the keeper and he scores! First chance, first goal! It's only taking one shot for Celso Mota to get on the score sheet this season as he puts in Sergei Kivyakovsky's breakaway. One nil to the Knights and we have free kick in a dangerous position. And we've got the first chance of Pedro Miramontes to shoot straight and goal and he scores! His first free kick of the season and Pedro Miramontes opens his account for his new club. Pedro Miramontes makes it 2-0 to the Knights. 17 minutes to win, we already have another chance with Celso Mota side pitching a shot on goal and he misses the goal. All of Crafters are 2-0 up against Colonel Getafe now, but Colonel Getafe the newly Paris side got one back he's got a powerful kill shot by Raymond Hargreaves in 20 minutes and it's warded off by Villanelle. His experience coming to the fall there to thwart Raymond Hargreaves' chance. 
27 minutes played, we've currently 2 0 up against Roma Return, and we've got our best ever result against this team. We have token goal by Rayta Tauessa, and that sails over the crossbar. Ray has never played against Roma Return before, he was so close to making it 3 0. We've got a card for Roma Return, Flavio Ferros has been yellow card for elbowing. And we've given away another free kick in the position. So Pedro Miramontes is on hand again. He's this in for Serga Kivyakoski. He tracks him in the half volley and he scores! Serga Kivyakoski makes it 3 0. He's 36 years of age and probably doesn't have long left. He's on the decline, but he's still got enough quality to make it 3 0 uh, to us. As we're approaching the end of this first half, we'll be great problems in this first half. We'll never break away though. Ray Tatarasa tries to make one place shots and scores! Ray Tatao Essa makes it 4 0 to the Knights. What a fantastic result this is so far. Ledley King getting the assist on his debut. And that is half time. And the half time score is Knights of Zernia FC 4, Rome Return and Neil. We have not let Rome Return have a single shot on goal, which is great. And we've had seven chances in all and 61% possession. I know they'll play a two man midfield. In the other games of the division, you can see Colonel Gatafe are drawing 2 2 of all the craftings, which is a stunning result for the new promoter side. We'll get the second half underway. And in rapid succession, Old No Profits has scored twice, so it's now 4 2 in that game. And so they are still second, but we're top of the league after just one game. We've got a chance here for Rome Return. It's Elton Cole tries to play the ball left of the goalkeeper. And Elton Cole has scored against us yet again. Elton Cole with the breakaway from Theon Kudaj 4 1. So this is. Ant Connolly has conceded one. There's any chance that Rome have had so far. We've got a free kick though. It's shown goal by Pedro Miramontes. And it's saved by Bidonao. But now was on hand to stop Miramontes from turning that into the back of the net this time. 70 minutes played. Ibrahim Kamara is going to come off Aquila Santa Maria to get some game time. And we've got an injury. This doesn't look good. Pim van der Kreese has been injured. Wow. So our best young defender, Pim van der Kreese, is going to be replaced with Pierre Festen, the midfielder. We get some game time there. But that's a big blow to lose such an important defender. So hopefully he isn't out for too long because we have a big game in only the third match of the season. So hopefully you'll be back by then. But as things stand, that is the end of the game. It is 4-1 to Knights of Sidonia at the end of the match. So at the end of it, Roma return has scored from their only chance all match. They had just one shot and they scored. Well, we had eight chances and scored four. But it's still a cracking result to start the season with against a strong looking Roma return aside. Although from the evidence so far, you would have to say that other teams look stronger. Ledley King was our man of the match on his debut. Well, Elson Corwin was Rome Return's man of the match. Well, he was probably the only good player, which is probably why he scored. Wow, that was a very solid start to the season. 4-1 against a team we've never been in before, and our team seems to be getting stronger, while their seems to have got a bit weaker than the last time we faced them. Rome Return did used to specialise in a five-man midfield, after all, but all of a sudden, for the last few seasons, they seem to be a 4-3-3 team. An interesting change, to say the least. First one we'll take. I'm very happy with the team's performance overall, it's one of our strongest performances in the team's history, albeit not the outright strongest, but it still gives hope for the season ahead that we can get promoted. Team of the week time. The team of the week this week is our best ever X11 representation with six players making it in. The team of the week this time is Elvis Grussell of Red FC in goal. A back four of entirely Knights players with Pim van der Kreese, Knights of Sidonia, Aquila Santa Maria, Knights of Sidonia. Pedro Miramontes, Knights of Sidonia, and Ledley King, Knights of Sidonia. A midfield of Giles Painter, Old Love Craftians, Ben Buckley, Old Love Craftians, Kingsley Oaks, Old Love Craftians, and Alvito Roma, Knights of Sidonia. And the front two of Elson Corrin, Roma Returner, and Celso Motor, Knights of Sidonia. Six players, quite some performance from us, but the manager of the round is D2K Virus of Old Love Craftians, who his win over Colonel Gatafe in a fitting 5 2 win, and his team looked like the most dangerous threat to our automatic promotion chances. So after one round of matches, there's Old Love Craftians who topped the table with their 5-2 win over Colonel, Colonel Gatafe away from home. We are second in the league after winning 4-1 against Roma Returner. It's Red FC who in third after their 2-0 win over Red Bull Diamonds, while Belfast City and AC Parto to Boca could they share a 1-1 draw with each other. Of course that doesn't really mean much for the first game of the season, we've still got 30 more games to play. So, in the next episode, we're we'll playing the second league game of the season against Colonel Gatafe, and also finding out who our first round opponents will be in the next cup draw. See you guys then.